everyone, welcome to this week's book haul. Uh, I got a lot of books this past week. I like bought them uh, a couple of weeks ago and they all sort of came this week. So, But I got some swag things as well so I'm going to start with those. Um, first up I got some sort of rat cards from Rachel Wade. Um, I got two of them so I'm going to keep one for myself and use the other one in a giveaway. And they're signed on the back as well. So thank you Rachel. Uh, and next up I got a sort of, it's supposed to be a bookmark, but I'm not quite sure how you, how you would, do you know what you would call it? Uh, but it's like a Beautiful Dreams uh, one for, uh, Ka uh, sort of the Beautiful Creature story by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I think that's his second name, and it sort of like moves, so that you can move it, and it like reflects, which is really cool. And it's also signed by the both of them in the back, so there's Margaret's signature, and I think Cammy's is there. I didn't know it was going to be signed by them, by the two of them as well, so that's so cool. I'm so happy with it. Um, next up, uh, the this book I bought from the book depository, but the rest of these books I bought from the works. So I'm going to show you this one first, the one that I bought from the book depository. I bought um, Coat as Promise by Maya Banks. I'm going to get to meet Maya in July, the book signing in Edinburgh, and I wanted to have something for her to sign. So this book was really cheap on the book depository, so I just grabbed a copy of it, plus I love this series. Uh, this is the fourth book in the Corpus Legacy series, and the rest of the books were like really expensive. So um, I didn't buy them, but um, I probably buy them near the time, but this one's the fourth book in the series, and I love the cover for it, so I'm really happy I, I at least have one. Um, so I'm happy. Uh, the next book I bought was Crave by Melissa Darnell. This is, these books are now the ones that I bought from the works. Uh, so I bought Crave by Melissa Darnell. This is the first book in the clan series, I think. Um, I'm sure I've read it. I read it ages ago, uh, but I don't really remember it. And it was really cheap on uh, the works, so I just grabbed a copy. Uh, and I'm going to read it again, like reread it, uh, the paperback, so yeah, I bought that one. Um, next up I bought Rise by Andrea Crema. This is the second book, I can't remember the name of the series, it could be the uh, Rift series, I'm not sure. But this is like a prequel series to the Nightshade series, and I have the first book, um, Rift in paperback so I sort of bought this one just to keep the series going. I haven't read Drift yet so I haven't read this book either so uh, I'm not really sure what to think about it but it does they, they do sound really good so I am going to read them eventually plus I love the colouring on this one it's so pretty um, so I love it. So plus I got it because it was really cheap as well. <laughs> Next book I bought was Deadly Hemlock by Kathleen Peacock um, this book is called Hemlock in other countries, but in the UK it's called Deadly Hemlock. Um, I love this cover, and I, like, I don't love, love, love it as much as the American cover, but I love it because it has like the werewolf symbol up here, and it's a werewolf book. Um, and it's really good, it's one of my favourite werewolf books. Um, so when I saw it for like 99p on the works, I just like jumped at it. Um, and plus I have like a... a sticker thing, like book plate, uh, with Catherine Peacock's signature on it, so I'll be able to stick it in there and have a signed copy, so I'm really excited and I'm really happy I finally have a copy of this book. Um, I was desperate for it, but it was quite expensive and like other places to buy it, and then I saw it for that like 99 p in the works, so I just grabbed a copy then. Um, so the next book I bought was, well, it's a part of the series, I bought um, Devil's Bargain by Rachel Kane. This is the first book in the Red Letter series, I think it is. Um, and I also bought the second book, uh, Devil's Stew, as well. I'm a huge fan of Rachel Kane. I love her Morgan's World Vampire series. Um, I've read a couple of her other series and they're really good. So I'm excited to read this series and I've been looking for it for ages. And I, they were like, really expensive like on Amazon and stuff and then I saw them like really cheap in the box so I just grabbed copies of them there and um, so I'm really happy I finally have the series and paperback. Um, next up I bought um, 
another series. I bought uh, The Vincent Boys by Abby Glines. And I also bought the second book in the series, um, The Vincent Brothers. So I'm really happy that I have these ones. Again, I'm meeting Abby in um, July at the book signing in Edinburgh. And these are just two other books that she signed for her maid. So I was excited. And at these, I, I don't love, love, love these covers, but um, I like them. And I like them. They are nice from a person than, you know, being seen them on the internet. They're nicer in person. Um, so I'm quite happy I have them, finally. Um, the next books I bought were, again, part of a series. It's, um, I think it's the Pledge series by Kimberly Derting, which includes uh, The Pledge, The Essence, and The Offering. I th I'm I've read the pledge before, but I haven't read the other two books. So when I saw like the full series, uh, really cheap on the works, I just grabbed copies of them all. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna like the other two books. Cause I I wasn't really like full on love with this book. I thought it was okay, um, but I probably have to reread it before reading the other two books. Um, but I'm excited I have the full series. Uh, the next book I got was Deeper by Robin York. This is the first book in the Caroline and West series. Um, this one is not due out. The book is out in ebook in the UK, but it's not due out in paperback until the sixth of March. Um, I got this one from the publisher because I'm on the sort of blog tour for the paperback releasing. So I'm really, really excited and as you can see I started to read it. I'm well actually it's around the round. I'm more than halfway through it. Um I'm enjoying it. It's not the best book I've ever read, but it's not the worst. So it's sort of in the middle just now. But I'm not sure if something big's gonna happen. That could totally change my opinion and I love the UK cover. Um it's really different to the US cover. The US cover is really quite light. Um, this cover is really dark, um, so colour schemes are completely different, but I'm really happy I have this book in paperback, and I also got, um, a really cool, like, dirt sheet paper that explains about the book and stuff, and um, so that's really cool, and um, so I'd like to say thank you to Pite Kiss Publishing, I think that's how you say it, um, for sending me this, or a lot of them books that I could say as well, because Pydicus as the sort of imprint of them. So I'm really, really, really excited. Um, so there you have it. That is my book haul for this week. Um, let me know if you've read any of these books in the comments. Let me know what you thought. Um, and hopefully I'll see you next week with another book haul. Okay, bye.